Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another track guide on Gran Turismo 7 and we're back with a Group 4 guide at Monza for the upcoming manufacturers race. Now this will be probably be able to use for daily races when they pop up. We're driving on hard tyres, BOP on, default setup. So yeah, if it's ever a daily race B or C, it should give you some sort of an idea of braking zones and lines through the corners. So I'm obviously driving the Mercedes SLS for my manufacturer, so I have to use that for this guide. It's a pretty mid-range car. I think the, the four-wheel drive cars are gonna be a little bit faster here. They can really attack the curb. So you might be able to be a bit more aggressive with them four-wheel drive cars. So yeah, we're gonna go through as many tips as we can. If these videos do help you out, it's amazing if you do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. We do this for a job, so I'm very grateful to everyone who takes the time to hit that like button. And let me know in the comment section if it's managed to improve your lap. So let's go through the track guide and try and improve the lap for you as much as we can. So obviously from the final corner, try and get a really strong exit. I was actually on a lap at this point, so it wasn't the best exit off that corner. So bear that in mind, because I, I was actually on a lap at that point. So a little bit of loss of time at the start of lap, but nothing major. So going down the main straight into turn one, we're gonna be looking for the 150 board, but we are gonna break a little bit past it. So 200 board there, then the 150 board there, and you can see we're breaking just past the 150 board. You can actually break it a little bit later than what you did on GT Sports, so a little bit more aggressive on the brakes. And now we're gonna be looking for that apex. We're gonna really try and attack the first part of the chicane. You're gonna see as we approach the, ch the chicane, we're gonna go almost right over the middle of the sausage curb. You can see there, right down the middle, and then that's gonna give us a better line into the second part of the chicane to rotate the car and get on the power as early as possible. So you can see the power already starting to go in there as we're rotating it to the left. And you can see there, throttle down 100%, and you really wanna get out of that exit as much as you can. Try and avoid going anywhere near the gravel, keep that momentum, and then you're gonna work your way. Staying as far to the right as possible for the shortest distance. It just really hug the inside all the way through here. Don't go too far out to the left. Try and stay to the right, and then work your way into the next braking zone, which we're gonna look for on the right-hand side. As you approach, you go past the 200, past the 150. You can see this little bit of gray tarmac on the right there where it's a bit overgrown. I use that as my reference for braking. So you see, as we approach it there, onto the brakes, and now we're gonna break in a straight line for the second chicane. So going into the second chicane, as we hit the start, start of the curb, we're gonna start turning this car in and attacking again. You really need to attack these curbs. So over the middle part, you can see left-hand tire, almost hitting the, the orange part of the curb, and that's gonna line you up for the second part, which you're gonna really attack as well. So on the second part, you can see you're almost going dead over the middle of that orange curb to get as much acceleration and keep the car as smooth as possible. Because if you hit that wrong, car becomes all on balance and you lose a lot of time. So accelerating out of the second chicane, and now you're going into the second chicane, uh, sorry, the first Lesmo, which you're breaking just past the 50 board on the left-hand side. And again, trying to get the car rotated down to third gear and hug in the tight line, use the camber of the corner and get on the throttle as early as you can because you can really carry momentum out of the corner with the way the camber works. Using a little bit of the kerb on the left hand side, you try and avoid that, but if you do, you can get away with it. Now braking just before the 50 board, I use that as my reference and you're going to brake slightly short of it. So as we approach it, you're going to see the braking inputs going in there. So onto the brakes, nice and early and attacking the second part of the second Lesmo. So now, here is where you want to get your right hand tire onto the green bit of Astro and get on the throttle as early as possible. You can see the throttle already on 50% as we're on the apex of the corner. That's because that's going to give you as much exit speed as possible. It's really important to get that corner as fast on exit as you can because then you can gain time all the way down the straight. You can see how important it is. You can gain up to a tenth or a tenth and a half just by getting a good exit off of that corner. Now we're going to work into the Ascari chicane. Braking as we go through under the bridge there. You got this little bit of tarmac on the right. Just as it ends, we're gonna hit the brakes just before that 100 board on the right hand side. Down through the gears. And as we turn in here, you're gonna see you can take a little bit off the first part on the left of the Escari chicane. So left hand tire onto the curb as we approach it. You see, try and avoid the actual yellow and black curb because that will unsettle the car a little bit. So taking a little bit of curb there. Now you're gonna get onto the right hand side and get your right hand tire onto the green bit of Astro and get on the throttle because you can really be aggressive through. If you get the line right, you can see aggressive on the throttle. And now we're gonna line up for the, the end of the chicane. And again, left hand tire onto the green Astro, but try and avoid being too aggressive on the yellow and black curb because that will actually unsettle the car. Making sure you get a smooth exit and now working our way into the final corner, which again, 
all about getting that exit speed and taking quite a narrow line through this final corner. So we're going to look again on the left-hand side for our braking references. There's the 100 there. And then we're breaking just past that. So about a third of the way between, so a third of the way past the 100 between the 50. And then try and keep the car as narrow as possible through this corner. So you can see, we're going to break into this corner, down into third gear, and try and get the car right onto the apex. You want to take a tight line through and get on the power as early as you can. Once you feel the grips there, on that power, and keep the car to the right hand side as much as you can. You don't want to put too much steering input obviously in. You don't want to be like fighting the steering wheel, but you want to be a smooth and then keep the car to the right for the shortest distance to the finishing line. So again, all the way to the right, hog the inside here, almost onto the pit wall and over the line for your fastest lap. Now, obviously in the race, you're not going to do that line. You're going to keep it normal, but for qualifying, make sure you go to the right hand side of the track because that will actually improve your lap time by a very small amount. It might only be a small amount, but it might gain you one extra position, which is vital. So watching the lap again from the chase camera you can see as we go through this corner you're going to see how we're what i mean about the curbs attacking them so into the first chicane watch the car and how we attack the first corner so over the curb almost dead over the middle rotate it through to the second part be careful you don't hit the left hand tire on that orange um, curb on the second part of the corner because if you hit it too aggressively the car becomes unstable you then can't get on the power and you'll lose two temps just on acceleration coming out of the corner so vital you don't be too aggressive on the second part of the first chicane now into the second chicane again you can see the braking just before that 100 board there using that little bit of tarmac and again look how aggressive we are on the curb almost dead over the middle and over the middle again for the second part and then you're working your way into the lesmo corners which again just past the 50 board there and rotating the car in on the power really aggressively to try and rotate the car in. Ran a little bit wide, didn't lose too much time though. And again, this is all about momentum on the exit. So you're on the throttle super early, way before you're out of the exit. You're on the throttle before the apex of the corner to get as much speed out of there as possible as you work your way into the Ascari chicane. And the Ascari chicane, again, is all about carrying speed. Getting that line right, getting the tires onto the parts of the curb, which will not unsettle the car as well. So you're gonna see again, Left hand tire onto the curb, perfect there, onto the curb again, and then on the exit over the curb, but not onto the dodgy curb that will actually unsettle the car. So again, nice and smooth through there, carrying good speed, and now into the final corner, just trying to get as much momentum out of this corner as you can. It's all about, like I say, keeping the car to the right as much as possible, but getting on the throttle as early as possible. So you see, getting the rotation, hog that inside, get the right hand tire almost touching the curb on the right hand side and then power your way out. And again, you can see we're taking the shortest line to the finishing line. Now this lap took me about 20 minutes to do. I actually got up to be a lot quicker than yesterday. So that little practice really helped us out. And we went over the line with a one minute 56.8, which I think I can actually get down to one minute 56.5 now after practicing it. So shows you what a little bit of practice can do. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this race. It should be good fun with the strat little bit of strategy in there, although it's a bit of a weird one. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let me know if it helped you out and I'll be back with more videos and streams in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone.